All right, we're back to the soundtracks. This will be video number three. And it's gonna be like box set type situations or like soundtracks that come in big packages or something. Anyway, <clears throat> but before we do that, I'm gonna advertise a book. This book is called Better Never Than Late, Midwest Hardcore Flyers and Ephemera, 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 1981 to 1984. This is on Radio Rahim, Brooklyn and Boston, um, I guess publishing. It's a hardback book. And this is what it is. I highly recommend it if you're into negative approach or the necros and misfits and um, the crucifix and the meat men. This baby is your guide to the good old days of when those bands used to play all the time. Okay, enough with the literature. Let's get into the movies. All right, first one. I'm storing this in a Macho Boys bag. Macho Boys are a great band from Portland, Oregon. All right. This is the Melvins, A Walk with Love and Death. And I guess this was a movie. Here's the love record. Which, let me show it to you. Is pink for the love part of it. And I'm not really a fan of it. Whoops. The love record in the little box set. Um, original soundtrack. It looks great. Names of the songs are, um, cool. Yeah, the names of the songs are great. Um, one of the songs, um, a vinyl Richie will love this. Song number nine is Halfway to the Bakersfield Mall. <laughs> that's funny. All right. So, that's the love record in The Melvins' A Walk with Love and Death. Now let's get into... The death record. <clears throat> There's what the inside is all about. And this one <clears throat> is beyond perfect. It's a crazy, noisy, um, <coughs> excuse me, crazy, noisy, interesting um just a great record the best thing the melvins ever did was this death record um with songs like flaming creature but these aren't really songs these are like crazy um sound bites that last three minutes um um Black Health, Sober, Derelict, Acid Only, What's Wrong With You? It, um, anyway, this album is the reason that I bought this box set type thing. And there's what it says on the back. I can't praise the death album enough what a wonderfully perfect perfect record it doesn't even sound like the melvins i can't explain what it sounds like maybe i'm just not good enough to explain it the melvins love and death soundtrack box set very righteous okay 
This one's kept in this blue bag. And this is the soundtrack to the movie, The Thing. The John Carpenter version with Kurt Russell and the gang. And yeah, this is kind of flimsy. I guess that's my first criticism. And it'll be my last. Here's the hype stickers. All right, let's get into this. This is the first record of all the songs from the big movie. Ooh, that looks cold. Actually, that looks like Michigan. They should be called, they should call this the soundtrack to Michigan. And let's see what the disco looks like. Oh, there's a poster too. All right. And there's the little poster. Um, lots of white on there. Let's put this back carefully because this thing wasn't free. There. All right. And here's what the record looks like. And is there anything else to this besides it sounds wonderful and creepy and a great thing to play on Halloween? All right, we'll put this back together as I show it to you. All right. And here's the second record. On the back, there's Kurt Russell up in the cabin with his little computer chess game. And there's the thing. <laughs> there's the thing that the thing was in during the movie. All right, let's see if this thing has a poster. It does not. So this record is posterless. <laughs> But it does have a very icy looking vinyl for the soundtrack to John Carpenter's The Thing. The movie with the famous dog scene where all the dogs are having a super fit. There we go. This is how it goes in, I think. So there it is, soundtrack to the movie The Thing. Ooh, let's put these little goodies back in. And put the ice blue record into the ice blue bag. All right. Now this is a punk rock situation, but this is a movie. This is from the Stern Brothers, from Youth Brigade and Better Youth Organization Records. And this is a record album. Is that a poster? No, oh, it's just a black piece of paper. Okay. Here's what the record album looks like. And I'll have to do some explaining with this. Well, this is kind of a pain to get into. Wow, this book is heavy. But since this might be the last time I ever get this thing out because I've recorded it, it's not a big deal. All right. I don't know what this is about, but I'll put it back in. I haven't gotten this record out in years. I bought this at a punk rock bowling, but anyway, it's a book, record, DVD, um, heavy type thing. And it tells the story of um, Youth Brigade and the Stern Brothers, punk rock bowling, Southern California punk scene, um, 
all the stuff they did. Big book. And there's a, there's a second LP with it, which I'll just kind of show you without getting it out. And <clears throat> these little pockets contain a CD of the albums and the movie. All right, let's explain what this thing is. This is a bunch of bands that are kind of newish. They weren't around in um, 1981, and they're doing songs from the Stern Brothers Better Youth Organization um, record label. Like, um, No Effects does a Battalion of Saints song called No More Lies. Um, Anti-Flag does a song by The Unseen. Um, Subhumans from Canada <clears throat> do a song by Personality Crisis. Subhumans from Canada were, were around in 1981. Um, Seven Seconds to Sync with California, they were around in 1981, so maybe I'm wrong. The Briefs do the Adolescent song, Who is Who?, and so on and so on. Um, Pennywise does We're Gonna Fight. That's a seven second song. Anyway, this thing isn't very expensive. They made a ton of them. They probably didn't sell all of them. So if you can find this for 20 bucks, it's worth it. Oi, that thing's heavy. All right, this is the last uh, one. Oi, and this is a big one. There. Okay, what this is, is a box set of a bunch of soundtracks from scary movies. I think most of them from England. Um, Death, Walsh, Recording Company, um, in England, puts out a bunch of soundtracks. Let's get into it. I really haven't opened up this box in many years. Here's a sticker that came with it. All right. Um, I printed this out. I don't know why. But to get this thing, you had to be, um, you had to like join a club or something. It didn't cost anything, but you had to join a club and then they would tell you when it went on sale and then you, um, got on the computer and started trying to order it and um, this thing um, I remember I got it obviously but I checked back a couple hours later and they were all gone so how many of these they made I just don't know it doesn't say and I try to look this thing up on the internet this box set I can't find anything about it so whoever has one they're like me and it's just in the house and they're not advertising. They have it and they're not selling it. Okay, let's get into this. This is a soundtrack to House by the Cemetery. A European horror movie. What's in this? Oh, here's what the record looks like. Stuff about the movie House by the Cemetery, which I've never seen this movie. Maybe it's on YouTube for free. Okay, comes with this cardboard thing, which is exactly the same as the cover of the record. Let's put that away. And here's a poster that came with it. And it's the same as the cover to the record. So you could call this the soundtrack to House by the Cemetery with more of the same. Let's get that back in there. There it is, House by the Cemetery soundtrack. Don't even remember what it sounds like. 
Okay, here is the soundtrack to They Live, <clears throat> and this is a John Carpenter movie that I have never seen. But it's got, um, does it have Rowdy Rowdy Piper? I think this is the one that has Rowdy Rowdy Piper, the wrestler, in it. So, let's get into this thing. Nothing else in there. Soundtrack to The Thing by John Carpenter. And I'm starting to remember this is just a whole bunch of more of the same. They gave me two of the same thing. Wow, they're really pushing it with the more of the same artwork again and again and again. Oh, this is terrible. All right, <clears throat> here's what the, the little disco looks like. Ooh, that's scary, kids. If the color purple um, frightens you, which um, that reminds me, I should get the soundtrack to the movie The Color Purple. I'm gonna have to seek that out. So that was a good movie. And I need to get the soundtrack to um, A Soldier Story. That also was a great movie. All right, so here you go. The Thing. And let me know if I should seek this movie out and watch it. All right. Let's just dump these out of the box. Okay. We'll put these things in the box so I don't forget them. Twins of Evil. This is a Hammer film with um, Peter Cushing. And I'm not going to pull the posters out or anything like that anymore because I have a feeling it's just more of the same. So I'll pull the vinyl out and show it to you, but not the posters. Ooh, Twins of Evil. Almost looks like Santa. And again, I've never seen this movie. Um, if anybody has seen it, you can tell me whether it's worth looking up. All right, um, here we go. This is the soundtrack to Halloween 3. And I've heard this, and it's great. And again, the posters and all the stuff inside is just more of this. Not a big fan of the artwork, but I guess it has, see, meaning. Okay. Oh, that's very Halloween. And it came with this little flexi disc record, which I am um, not a fan of. Of flexi discs, because they're, um, I don't know, they just should be free, because they're like this. But there it is. And this is the um, Happy, Happy Halloween song on here. But it's also on this, so I really don't see the point of the flexi. But it came with it. Silver Shamrock. Halloween 3 was... It wasn't a bad movie. It was fun to watch. All right. Here we go. Halloween 2. And let's see what this record looks like. Here we go. Oh, it's just like the Halloween 3. There's different um, variants of this. But I, I think they were saying if you get the box set, you get a different color thing, which... So what? Really, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, 200. There were 200 of these box sets made. It says right there. Okay, here's the poster of Michael Myers dressed up like a nurse for some reason because in the movie he never puts on a nurse's hat which I think he should have that would have been funny okay and here's the last record in the box set The Devil's Business 
And I think I tried to watch this, but um, for some reason didn't finish it. It's a European film, and it's the devil's business, and I'm really not sure what it's about. Probably has some detective stuff in it. Anyway, let's see what the record looks like. Ooh, that's the devil's business right there. Jeez. Has one of my head hairs on it. Anyway, <laughs> wow, when I bought this, I didn't have gray hair. I just pulled a, a black hair off of this record. Oh, geez, that's brutal. That is brutal. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Devil's Business soundtrack, part of the box set from Death Waltz Recording Company. They had other box sets, but I didn't buy them because um, when I bought this, I didn't have the um, disposable cash I do now, thanks to moving to Detroit. Um, anyway, that's it. There's a ton more, but I just thought I would concentrate on the big soundtracks as far as weight, the amount of records, the amount of box. Okay. <laughs> I'll make another video maybe tomorrow. I don't know. And that music you hear in the background, that is the soundtrack to the thing that I showed you. That's down there. All right. Good night.